here today representing the National Research Council, where I served as chair of a committee to review DOE's nuclear energy R&D budget. We submitted our report last October, and I'd like to just touch on some of the highlights from it. We examined four major R&D programs, the funding for which is on the order of three to four hundred million dollars a year, that are managed by the Office of Nuclear Energy and the Department of Energy. Now, they were what's called Nuclear Power NP 2010, which is a program cost-shared with industry to assist in the licensing of the first nuclear plants in the U.S. in over 30 years. And three real research programs, one, the Generation 4 class of nuclear reactors, secondly, the Nuclear Hydrogen Initiative, and finally, the Advanced Fuel Cycle Initiative, which is a program aimed to develop technologies to close the back end of the nuclear fuel cycle. The committee recommended that the department give the highest priority to NP 2010. If nuclear power is to play a major role in the nation's energy picture, it's simply essential to license, build, and operate the first of the next generation of reactors. And given the long lead times and construction periods involved, it's important to do it now. The committee also noted that the human and intellectual infrastructure needed to support this effort has been aging, and therefore we specifically recommended first continued support of university programs in nuclear science and engineering, and secondly, consideration of the appropriate research report support for the nuclear industry, for example, through the provision of uh, national user facilities such as the advanced test reactor at the Idaho National Laboratory. Now, the same sense of urgency, however, did not attend the other programs we examined. There are acceptable methods of soaring spent nuclear fuel safely for decades without reprocessing and fuel recycling. There doesn't seem to be a serious shortage of uranium for reactor fuel, it's certainly not one that's going to emerge for many years. And moreover, we concluded that it will take considerable time for the information to be developed to change these judgments. Now, this is not to say that research in new reactor design or hydrogen production or closing the fuel cycle should not go on. Indeed, our committee recommended that it should. However, the research program should be designed to lay the basis for deployment of these technologies sometime in the future when circumstances warrant. And to this end, funding at a sustainable level over time is more important it seemed to us, than speed. And we strongly urge the development of an independent oversight function that would help ensure that the advanced research programs stay on track over an extended period of time, continue to be responsive to the changing external environment. We also concluded that the development of large-scale facilities for closing the nuclear fuel cycle would be inconsistent with our assessment of priorities. For this reason, and because of the very large technical risk involved in an overly aggressive construction program, we recommended against the funding of such facilities in the near term. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I look forward to your questions.